So what's going on guys? Um, this is Angel. I uh, just wanted to go and show you guys what my current obsession is right now. Uh, it's Warframe. Uh, I know this game's been out for a little while, but I do a lot of Warframe stuff. Like within the last, I want to say like month or so, my hours have went from 20 hours where I was just like trying it out from like a really super long time ago to I now have almost 300 hours in the game. I make platinum every day. I have a clan going. The clan's still new. It's mainly just friends right now, but I want to go and get a lot of people in there and have us all like grow together and whatnot. But uh, currently, though, right now, it's a pretty fantastic game. It's what I'm putting 90% of my time into. Uh, in this footage, you see me run around on my cross, just dicking on stuff with my Paris Prime bow. I just got this bow. It's not bad though. I really, really like it. Uh, I also have some of Prime. And that's like what. The, that's the main thing I normally run with. Um, you don't get to see it in this video because uh, my kitchen almost went down. <laughs> but uh, we may get to round 30 in this particular. This is a uh, Tower Four. I'm pretty sure. This is Tower 4 Defense, and we make it to level, or not level, wave 30, and then we call it quits, but it is very, very, very hard at the later stages. More uh, corpus, like machines and whatnot show up, and guys that have like super heavy armor, so it's really hard for me to penetrate them. So, I mean, like... You won't see it in this video, but you'll see me use my ability every once in a while whenever I think it's necessary. And my my four ability on the frost, if you guys have never played Warframe before, my four ability, which is like my ultimate, um, basically freezes everything within an area. It freezes it solid. And if it doesn't die, it sits there for a little bit, and then it unfreezes, and then it continues on to go about its business. My frost isn't maxed out yet. Well, it's as good as it's going to get, basically. I still have to go and like forma it and stuff, but other than that though, it's not, um, this isn't Frost Prime, it's just the regular Frost, so Frost Prime will always be better, Frost Pr Prime can put up bigger bubbles than me, actually I'm pretty sure there's another Frost in here, and you, if you go, yeah, right there, you look, his balls are way bigger than mine. I only have, like, so, I don't know why we had two Frosts in this game. I think it was because they asked for a frost, and then I showed up, and then they got a frost prime, and before I could switch over to my uh, Inaros, which is the new dude, the new, the new Warframe on um, on here, before I could switch to him, they had already started the started the match. So that's the reason why at the beginning you kind of see me like looking around, and then I'm like hopping around or whatever. They just they started the timer, and I didn't have enough time to go switch out. On this particular uh, frost build, I have uh, freezing force. I think is what it's called. Basically, I can put a buff on my allies and make it so that they do. Um, it's like 100% uh, cold damage, and that buff lasts on them for like 45 seconds. So they can sit there and just freeze, like get the cold uh, debuff on everything and just start dicking on it, which is cool. It's not overly important, but it just adds a little bit more extra damage that they can do. Uh, I don't really know what else to go and tell you guys. If you guys have any questions or anything, write them down in the comment section below, and I'll make sure that I get back to you on it. Oh, right here, right here. So I wasn't really paying attention, but you see that uh, flash? That's the stalker. Oh, here it is. Flash again. Oh, man. It's so intense. Stalker shows up and we just all start wailing on him. The Stalker is really cool. He's like this guy that shows up if you beat too many bosses too frequently. Like, too many t if you are like farming bosses, there's a chance of uh, him showing up. He'll send you an email and be like, Yo, you made a big mistake or some shit like that. And then when you go into void missions or go anywhere, go on any mission, he'll show up and try to be a little dickhead. Right there, there he is right there. And we start wailing on him, wailing on him, and wailing on him. He doesn't take very much damage from Tenno power, but you just basically have to just sit there and wail on him. And we didn't get shit from fighting him either. We got the Molten Impact and that was it. So sad. But he was dead. So that's cool. I gotta go grab up as much energy as I can just so that I can uh, 
be usable. Even though I'm not overly usable. Just because there's a Frost Prime in here and you can just pop his, uh, his bubble way bigger than mine. The way that the bubble works is it's basically like a shield and a well it is a shield. Stuff can't attack you while you're inside of it, but did you see that 20k crit? Oh my god. Stuff can't attack you while you're inside of it, but you can attack out of it. But once stuff is inside of the bubble, they can so it's like that guy right there he was shooting at me, but he couldn't actually hit me. Whether that's because he has really shitty aim or whatever. But uh it's really really cool. But, if you don't have something like a trinity with you, it's hard to keep that power going. Or, it's hard to keep the shield up, basically. Because it eats up an okay amount of power, and like, there's a, uh, it's dead now, but there was a life, or not a life leech, an energy leech somewhere around me. And the energy leeches are not fun. They, uh, they'll suck all the energy out of you, and then you, you're just basically up shit creek without a paddle. And if you don't have a trinity with you, once you're out of power, like that's it. You have to like either kill something and get power, or you're you're just done. We got a fusion cores. This I'm pretty sure this run was like nothing Continue but fusion cores, and that's delivery. it. I did another run after this, after I made sure the kitchen didn't burn down, and we got three things of fusion cores and all of the loot tables, and we stayed there for like until like 35. We just got shit loot, it was terrible. But yeah guys, uh, let me know down below if you guys want me to keep on putting up Warframe videos. I really like this game. Um, and so I would be down to continue to record this game if you guys were, like, if you guys wanted to see it. If not, I'll continue to play this game and not upload it. And we'll still go and get Pixel Piracy. I am looking for something else besides just Pixel Piracy to go and upload to the, to the channel though, so. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys later, alright? Bye.